final chat would be your best bet when trying to show this specific kind of information, say data moving through the different stages, such as a sale pipeline, customer acquisition funnel or even a project workflow. This will enable you to identify easily where the biggest drop-offs are and concentrate your efforts there. Starting from Excel 2016, funnel charts are available natively. You first need to organize your data, one column for the stages and one for the values. For instance, in a sales funnel it might be leads, contacts, proposals and deals. The number of prospects will be given for each. Go ahead and select the data range. Then move up to the Insert tab. In the Charts group you'll find numerous chart types. The icon for this chart looks like a triangle pointing downwards. Just click on it and Excel will automatically generate the chart for you. You should notice right away that the data is graphically represented from largest on top to smallest on the bottom in the shape of a funnel. While the default funnel chart is a good place to start, Take your data to the next level through customization. To color your bar, right click on one of them and then choose Format Data Series. You can change the fill color or choose different ones for an interesting look. Another thing you can do is format your data labels a bit. Now that you have the fundamentals down, don't forget funnel charts need to be simple. Concentrate on the critical stages within which drop-offs are taking place. This brings out where one ought to invest relatively more in their efforts. Do not clutter the chart with too many stages or unnecessary data. This will dilute the essence of the data. And please always add a chart title that fully describes what your funnel is showing. Data labels should be clear and concise. So there you have it, a complete guide on how to create and customize funnel charts in Excel. Funnel charts are great at representing stage-based data, but some other types of charts might prove to be more effective. I've already done a video on how to create waterfall charts, which you may want to check out. See you in the next video.